What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. We're also going to get into a few altcoins as well. Right now, Bitcoin's in the six six thousand five hundred thirty five dollars. We're up about three percent on the day. So, guys, what I want to do is go through some of my favorite indicators that I look at into the block here. So, behind the scenes for cryptocurrency, and I want to share these with you. These are some of the main ones that I look at for Bitcoin altcoins, and I want to go through this as quickly as I can. I appreciate you guys being here with me today, and let's dig into this. So first, guys, when we're taking a look at this one, I always like to look at is holders making money at the current price. Right now, we have 97% of holders in the money. We have 3% at the money and 0% out of the money. So getting pretty extended there. Just want to keep an eye on that. Guys, not saying we can't go higher, but right now we do have 97% of all addresses in the money. So we want to keep our eyes on that. Next one we're going to be looking at here, guys, is our total exchange outflows. So this is typically a good thing when your coins or money is being sent away from the exchanges into a hardware wallet. So right now that's at $18.37 billion total exchange inflows. And this is typically when people are sending money to the exchanges, and that can be a bearish sign. It's at $17.99 billion. So pretty flat there, guys, pretty even back and forth. If we take a look at holders composition by time held over the last 30 days, our hodlers, so one year plus, were basically flat. Cruisers were down 2.74%, and then traders were up 21.36. The next one I wanted to look at is the bulls and the bears. A bull is an address that bought more than 1% of the volume trade in the last 24 hours. A bear is going to be the opposite, guys. So these are the big dogs who are moving the market. Over the last seven days, we have 121 bulls. We have 124 bears. So the bears do have the advantage when it comes to those addresses bought 1% or more. So the big guys right now. Next one we're going to take a look at is going to be our network. And we're going to look at our address stats. So right now, daily active address with new addresses here in blue, guys. We're at a negative 15.16 over the last seven days is your change. And then active addresses over the last seven days, we're down negative 13.59. Then the next one I want to get into for us, I like to get into the exchanges. And we're going to get into the trades per side. And for the trades per side here, over the last 12 hours, we have a negative 1.97 thousand Bitcoin. So you just multiply your volume, guys, what Bitcoin costs by that. And that can kind of show you who's in control, the bulls or the bears, due to the hour or the time frame that you're looking at down here. So definitely something I like to keep an eye on. Next one, is this a pretty cool one as well that I wanted to show you? This is gonna be ownership. We're gonna go into the holdings distribution. And this will break things down for you here. Guys, so the matrix, so if you hold between 0.01 and that 01 Bitcoin, there are 7.92 million addresses. From 0.1 to 1 Bitcoin, you're in a club of 3.52 million addresses. Then from that 1 to 10 Bitcoin, there's 855,000 addresses. Then from 10 to 100, there's 137,000 addresses. So definitely something I like to keep an eye on here, guys. Then you can kind of see where you're at in your Bitcoin holdings, which is interesting as well, and where you stand. So that's going to be Bitcoin, guys. Those are the main ones that I want to put put out there. So just showing you that we're a little overextended just in terms of the in and out of the money. That's one of the main things that has me just a little bit hesitant right now at the price that we're at. We got a beautiful bullish engulfing candle yesterday. It came on volume, so I hope we can go higher. But just keep your eye on the holders making money in and out of the current price. Next one we're going to take a look at is Ethereum. So for ETH, guys, quick overview here. Holders making money at the current price. We have 88% in the money, 2% at, 10% out of the money. Total exchange outflows, we're at 17.41 billion. Total exchange inflows, we're at 18.13 billion. So a little bit higher for the bears there, the inflows. Our holders composition. So address held by time over the last 30 days. Hodlers were up 1.56. Cruisers up 0.77. And then traders up 25%. We get into the bulls and the bears. Seven day total for the bulls is going to be 90. And for the bears, it's going to be 82. So the bulls are in control there. Then if we take a look at the exchanges in the order book, trades per side. Over the last 12 hours, 21.49 thousand ETH to the bull side there. So the next one I want to get into is going to be Cardano. Let's take a look here. Guys, if you're here for ADA, let me know down low. Always love to know what you're here for. And I'll just do the best I can, guys, for into the block here. There's only so many coins that they do have. 
So for Cardano here, guys, holders making money at the current price, 56% in, 5% at, and 39% out of the money. Holders composition by time held over the last 30 days. Hodlers were down 0.69%. Cruisers, we are down 4.97%. And then traders, we are up 28.78%. We get into our trades per side. And our order books here over the last 12 hours, we have a positive 4.5 million Cardano there. Let's see if there's anything else here, guys, that I wanted to point out to you. So this is the main one. I want to get into this as well. If I can find it here, there's our address stats. Okay, so this is the main thing that I want to see increase for Cardano when I'm taking a look at this because this has just been pretty flat for a long time here, guys. Numbers haven't been changing much up or down. So over the last 30 days, we're at 4.45 million addresses. Our 30-day high was 4.46 million addresses. And then our 30-day low was 4.44 million addresses. So this has just been pretty flat for a lot of months here, guys. You can see we haven't had a ton of movement here. So we do want to see that start creeping up. That's going to show some more confidence if we start getting those address stats up a little bit higher. If we get to in and out of the money, just to show you some major support areas here. As just some areas we're fighting over. So support, we're looking at between 59 cents and 61 cents. It's gonna be a major area for you. Above that, it's gonna be 61 to 63 cents, not as big of an area here for us. And then guys, to the bear side, the resistance, we would be looking up to around 63 to 65 cents is gonna be the main overhead resistance area that we need to fight with as of now. So that's gonna be Cardano, guys. Next one we're gonna get into is Litecoin. All right, and for Litecoin, we're gonna do the quick view here. So quick view, guys, holders making money at the current prices. We have 58% in, 13% add, and 29% out of the money. Holders composition by time, 30-day change. We have hodlers, so one year plus, up 5.14%. Cruisers, so that's the people who've held from one to 12 months. That's gonna be a negative 7.49. And then our traders, that is gonna be up about 6%. Bulls and the bears. For Litecoin, we have 65 bulls and 63 bears, so pretty close there, but the bulls do have a slight edge. Then if we're getting into our order books, trade per side, we're at a negative 507 Litecoin. So that's going to be Litecoin. Next one we're going to take a look at is Link. Hey guys, I wish I could do Solana for you. They do not have it. So let's get into the quick view for Chainlink. Holders making money at the current price. We have 64%, 4% at, and then out of the money, 31%. Total exchange inflows, we're looking at 160 million. Total exchange outflows, 142 million. So the bears do have a slight advantage there. For the bulls and the bears, over the last seven days, we have 111 bulls. We have 114 bears. So the bears have a slight advantage there as well. For our network and our address stats, daily active addresses over the last seven days. So new address, we're down 4.27%, and then active addresses, we're up 3 point, or I'm sorry, 9.60%. And then trades per side. Let me see here, there we go. Trades per side, we have a positive 18.34 thousand link. Next one, guys, I'm going to do SHIB. I think we have that on here. So let's take a look at that. We'll just do the quick view. So quick view, holders making money at the current price. We have 62% in. At the money is 10%, and then out of the money is going to be 28%. Holders composition. Over the last 30 days, hodlers have dropped off negative 2.07%. Cruisers, negative 13%. 0.65% and then traders have been up 226%. So this is mostly traders, guys. When you're seeing this going back and forth a lot right now, there's been a lot of traders in and out of ships. So just keeping an eye on that. Then trades per side, guys. Right here, negative 293 billion ship. That's what we're going to have. Then, guys, I'm going to see if I can get Dogecoin as well for you. Take a look at Doge. I know a lot of people have been asking about the meme coin, so I'll just put out a little. You know what, guys? Right here, they're saying we're experiencing issues, so we're not going to do that one. Let's see. Let's go AVAX. I 
guys. I want to get AVAX for you here. See if that can come up. Thought I had it. Well, you know what, guys? I think that is going to be it for me right now. So that's what I'm able to give you. God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Keep an eye on these numbers.